we have our guest in the studio today, which I'm very happy to uh, announce, Doug Glander from Sure Grow. Good morning, Doug. Thank you, Mary. Nice Even though here. we've already said our good mornings, this is an official on the air good morning. Listener friends, this is Doug Glander. He's the manager of Sure Grow, and we're going to be talking about hydroponics. Yes, hydroponics. Okay. First of all, give us the definition of hydroponics. Hydroponics literally translates from Greek. The hydro means water, and ponics meaning labor. So it's technically growing anything in water. Growing anything in Vegetables, water. Vegetables, herbs. If you're growing it in water, it's technically considered hydroponics. All right, now let me ask you this. Where, what you are the manager of, is it a place? Is it a store? Is it a farm? We're a retail store on Route 35 across from Wegmans in Ocean. Okay. And we sell all the supplies that you need to grow vegetables and herbs in your home all year round. In the home? Inside, all yes. Right. I also had a discussion this morning. I don't know if you have anything to do with this. If not, stop me. Aero Garden, is that similar to hydroponics? Very similar. It's a form of hydroponics. It's kind of like the big brother. Then you kind of stray into aeroponics. Okay, so that's different than hydro. Little bit different, but same principle. You're still mostly in water constantly. Okay. How long have you been in business there? How long has your store been in there? We've been open for two months now. Oh, only two months? So yes, you're ma'am. brand new. Where did you bring this from? Like, are you local? Are you from the area? Or did you bring it from somewhere else? I'm from Manasquan. Okay. I learned most of it down in Virginia, down in the Shenandoah Valley when I was interning on organic farms. What made you do that? I, I'm always curious. Like, are you a are you a person of nature? Do you come from the soil? Are you are do you go um like this with the yoga and all? Are you all into that? Definitely natural? a person of nature. Okay. It was actually interesting how I wound up on farms. I was actually working on the New York Stock Exchange. Oh wow, that's a big difference. <laughs> yes, yes. I, I had the opportunity, so I tried it. I lasted about six months before I was like, I can't do this. The stress. Doing the exact opposite. And farming came to me then. I just but how it. did farming come to you? How did you go from the New York Stock Exchange to farming? Uh, just plants. They just intrigued me. Wait, you know? excuse me one second. The first thing that came to mind was Green Acres with Eddie Albert. Oh, wait, you're too young. Well, you're looking yeah. at me. All right, you do not know Green Acres. No. All right, there was a show back in the 60s called Green Acres. Now you have to find it. He was an attorney in the city, in Manhattan. And he grew like this little farm on his patio. And he decided this city life wasn't for him anymore. He bought this old rundown farm in Hooterville. And he and his wife, Ava Gabor, opened and they did this farm. And this is exactly your situation where you went from the New York Stock Exchange, couldn't take the hustle bustle and the stress and went completely opposite to farming. Yes. You're exactly like Green Acres. You have to promise me, watch Green Acres. I promise. I know you're young, but you have to find it. Green Acres, Eddie Albert, Ava Gabor. It's you in a nutshell. But go ahead, finish, please. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was really just plants. I'm just intrigued by the way they grow, You know what affects them, different uh -huh. conditions. And that's what really got me into hydroponics because one of the big things hydroponics varies from traditional soil cultivation is in a hydroponic system, you can control almost about everything. You know, how much nutrients the plants are getting, how much water, how much ventilation. It makes pest control a lot easier mm -hmm. and sometimes even obsolete, <laughs> um, which is one of the biggest problems with cultivating in soil. You know, you don't have to do any weeding, which is a big selling point for a lot of people that aren't aware of But do you need a big area in your home and do you need special lighting? Do you need special windows or anything like that? The lighting, you could get away with fluorescence, okay. with vegetable production like lettuce and herbs and stuff. You don't need a lot because they're currently, they're constantly in vegetative growing. You know, it's when you get into the heavy fruiting and the flowering that you really need the high intensity stuff. And as far as space, not necessarily anymore because there's, I'm sure you've seen the tower gardens. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of applications of vertical growing inside and outside of the house as well. So really, you just need to come into our shop and say, hey, you know, I've got this much space, I want to spend this much money, and we'll work with you to design the system, even if it's custom 100%, just so you can get growing at home. If All right, now me, I've, I've mentioned this so many times on the air, 
when I bring something living into the house, it plays the death march, meaning plants, anything like that. I cannot grow anything. I can follow the directions from point A to point B to Z, and this plant will still die on me. What is it? Is it true a green thumb? Do people actually have green thumbs where they just got a, a natural with plants? I would definitely say so. Yeah. And it goes back to what you said or what you asked earlier about me being like more nature intended. Yeah, I feel like uh, granted I also have a lot of experience with agriculture, but now when I feel like I look at plants, I can tell instantly within a couple seconds like are they wilting? Are they upset? You know, is something not right? Is the ventilation off a little bit? So yeah, I think to a certain degree, yes, but it, it shouldn't deter people from getting involved with hydroponics because that's what we're here for. That's what I'm here for. Mm -hmm. It's really like our slogan is we help you grow and we stand by that like 100%. You know, I've got people that don't really spend money in the shop that I'm in contact with because they're getting started and they don't want to spend a lot of money at first. Right. So I'm constantly throwing emails back and forth with them, people that are getting into aquaponics, which is a whole nother venue. Right. Similar to hydroponics, except you involve fish. You involve fish? Fish, yes, yes. And how does that work, or are we getting on a totally different subject here? It's similar to hydroponics, but it's definitely very interesting. Um, it's a symbiotic relationship between the fish and the plants. Mm -hmm. So your fish are going to produce waste. When what kind of fish? Um, mainly tilapia. Because you're growing really, tilapia in your home? I used to down in Virginia in a greenhouse. Okay. I'm not practicing aquaponics right now. I also had an aquaponic greenhouse up on Route 9 in Howell for about a year. I was doing lettuce and microgreens to all the very um, fancy restaurants that right. were willing to pay top dollar for organic produce. But yes, it's a symbiotic relationship. So the fish make their waste when they eat. And then the waste gets converted into plant food. Mm -hmm. So the plants then take that food out of the water, thus purifying it for the fish. So the, the water just goes in a cycle, constantly recirculating, and you've got absolutely no waste. All right, now this is gonna take me on to something else. I love, the, I love tilapia, but everyone says it's not good for you. It's, you know, tilapia is like the worst fish you can eat. Is that true? Most of that is based around the way the tilapia are raised in foreign countries and then shipped here. Okay. You know, it's the environment that they're raised in. If you were to have your own system at home, you would know exactly what's going in and what's coming out of that environment. So you wouldn't necessarily have to uh, worry about it. I mean, they are a notoriously dirty fish. They right. can live in dirty bottom, water. Bottom feeders, right? Yep, yeah. yep. But they, I mean, they're all very tasty. And the main reason why they're used in aquaponic systems is because they reproduce like rabbits. So that means every other every 30 days you're harvesting, you know, if you've got a huge greenhouse, 200 heads of lettuce and 20 pounds of tilapia uh -huh. simultaneously. So you're not just selling vegetables anymore, you're selling vegetables and fish. All right, so all right, let's back off from that. Let's go back to our hydroponics. Um, you do have a store on Route 35 in Oakhurst, did you say? Ocean. Ocean, across from Wegmans. Yes, ma'am. And you just opened up. Mm -hmm. The store, what do you actually supply in this store? Like if I was to walk in, I'm a first timer, I have no idea what I'm doing. What would you suggest to me? A first timer, first I would say, uh, we are hosting our first free class called Hydroponics 101, mm -hmm. January 25th at the shop from 6 to 7 p.m. Okay. And there I'll be going over all the really basic fundamentals, the stuff like balancing your pH to how to do feed the plants with nutrients and light spectrums, everything like that. And then we actually have a, I, um, I got a 3D printer, so I 3D print our own little hydroponic systems. They're about $20, super simple, hard to mess up. I designed it that way for people that are beginners. Mm -hmm. um, so I would just suggest come to the class, and once you get an idea at the class, I'll be physically showing everyone how to do the things as well. I'm not just going to go over a PowerPoint and be like, you need to do this. You know, right. There will be a sort of hands-on approach. Um, and then you could, you, know, you could get a small starter system for $20. We've got the, some other ones for $50. And we've got some complete system for $100. And these are all small desktop units for like your kitchen counter, for So something herbs. to start you off with. And then if you feel that you have that knack, you can 
actually grow yourself along with the plants. Exactly. I call the starter system the baby step starter system. Okay. You know, it's very simple. I designed it for anybody that could just be like, hey, I want to try this. And then, yeah, it's, you know, some people will magnetize and gravitate to it and love it. And some people, you know, will let it go die and they'll be like, oh, whatever. You know, at least I only spent $20 on it. Right. And yeah. you gave it a try. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Now, tell our list of friends where you are. Do you have a website, a phone number, how they can get in touch with you, and the class again? Okay. We are located on Route 35 across from Wegmans in Ocean. Mm-hmm. We're open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., most days we stay open late till 8 p.m. on Thursday. We are, our class is going to be January 25th. It's a Thursday okay. from 6 to 7 p.m. You need me? And mm-hmm. phone number 732 531 7600. You can find us at shoregrow.com and you will see everything there. There's a link to our class, and which will bring you to our Facebook event page where you can. Sign in and say you're interested, and we'll set a seat aside for you guys. All right, so you have a Facebook page, too. Yep. Sure. All we got to do is do what? Shore Grow Hydroponics? Shore Grow LLC. Oh, Shore Grow LLC. Spell and Shore Grow for our listener friends. H. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 so you're hanging out with me only 15 minutes and, you, and I rubbed off on you. Okay, Shore Grow starts with an S. S H O R E G R O W. Okay, L L C. Yes. Sh- yes, sure. <laughs> now you're sure the shore that it is, right? It's the shore like the ocean. That kind of sure. Not for sure, but we're for sure that's the sure it is. How's that? Okay. <laughs> Certain. There you go. Doug Glander, thank you so much for spending some time with us, informing us. And listener friends, if you're truly interested or the least bit interested, I highly suggest that you check into the class. And the phone number one more time, Doug, is? 732-531. 7600. Okay, there we go. Well, welcome to the area, I should say. Are you do you feel like your blood pressure has dropped since you left the New York business? Oh yeah. Yeah? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's like you can get up in the morning and now go, "Oh." Yes, exactly. Big yeah. All right, do me a favor, check out Green Acres. Yes. Please ma'am. do. It is you In a nutshell. I promise. Okay. Doug Glander, thank you so much for spending some time with Joel and myself on Preferred Company. And we will be right back.